Item number, SCP-530, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. No special precautions have yet proven necessary. Carl is very calm and friendly, and at this stage, is free to move about the lower levels of the facility. Carl is free also to interact with SCP-529, as the two have proven non-hostile toward each other as well. Staff are not permitted to feed SCP-530 anything other than his approved food twice daily, or his approved treats during training. Description SCP-530 appears to be a small dog, in a constant state of physical alteration. Height typically varies between 20 cm and 30.5 cm at the shoulders. Width across the back typically varies between 7.5 cm and 18 cm. Length typically varies between 25.5 cm and 45.5 cm. Larger and smaller sizes have been recorded but are rare and do not last long. The coat of SCP-530 is also in a state of constant change. To date, 467 different hues have been recorded, as well as an unidentified number of patterns. The most extreme flux comes from the growth or absorption of additional limbs, noses, mouths, eyes, ears, and other body parts. While these typically do not last longer than 24 hours, a third eye located slightly left of center on the top of SCP-530's head has remained since approximately one half hour after its discovery. Addendum 530-203A Agent M fed Carl a slice of deli ham of standard proportions, in clear violation of dietary regimen. The resultant odor has been described variously as horrid and plant withering. Agent M has been reprimanded. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-529, Josie the Half-Cat, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.